guys welcome back to my channel so today I have a haul for you and as usual it is a sales haul because as you know it's not a habit of mine to shop regular prices I often wait for sales and this is one of the sales that I often look forward to every year although I was going to boycott it this year because of controversial labor issues related to Zara which was in the news recently and I wasn't very pleased about it because this is a multi billion company that should have no issues paying its workers or paying them fairly because they do an excellent job in their production level as well as the quality of items that they produce. Yes, some of the items are questionable in terms of quality, but overall, Zara has a good record when it comes to items. You see the items everywhere. So I was going to boycott the sale this year. But I understand that they are in the process of trying to remedy the situation. So I'm keeping my ears and eyes peeled to the screen and, and the news to hear whether or not they have done so. Because you have to be an educated consumer out there whenever it comes to buying you need to buy wisely you need to support companies that treat their work as well and that is one of my photos and it's something that I try to live by if I am unaware then I blame ignorance but when I become aware it doesn't matter what brand it is I would definitely boycott you so Anyway, with that said, hopefully it rectifies itself. I want to share some of the pieces that I got on sale and I absolutely love them. There's no denying it. The first piece is this gorgeous um, blouse here. What I love about this is, of course, the polka dot detail. And I love the black um strip of fabric around the collar that is repeated here in the front this is a great work piece and it's something that i've definitely showed you how i style it how i intend to style it because it can go with any nude or black or turquoise pieces in your wardrobe so i love it so here is how I style it. So for this first pairing, I have chosen my all-time favorite pencil skirt. You guys have seen this all over my videos because I just love it. It pairs with everything. It fits nicely. I, I just love it. One of my favorite interview skirts. And of course, my favorite tote bag, my all-time favorite work bag. I don't go anywhere without it. And a second option is to pair it with your favorite pants. This one is one of my favorites. It's high waisted, my signature look. And I've chosen this one specifically because one, it's black and it has the same trimmings that are replicated on the blouse. So I think it matches perfectly with this blouse absolutely gorgeous and again this one is a little bit wide leg but you can choose a tapered leg that would pair just as nicely or a skinny pants i am pairing it with my zara shoe and my tote again which is from ralph lauren love this pairing absolutely love it that I absolutely fell in love with. Although I thought it was brown instead of burgundy, but I don't 
mind it at all is this piece here as well and I should let you know that most of the pieces are between the price of 25 to 49 dollars and most of the pants pieces are 29 dollars most expensive piece here is a sweater piece it's a chunky cardigan piece which I may take back because I don't think it's worth the price I think it should be further reduced in order for me to feel comfortable um, investing in it so I may take it back but this piece I definitely love I don't think I have like a blouse in um, chiffon material and with this style in my work wardrobe so this is definitely a great piece I love the pussy bow I love anything with bows and strings I just love that feature on any clothing item so this is definitely another great piece that I am absolutely pleased to have found to add to my workwear wardrobe. Love it. So here is how I pair it. I do hope you like it. It's definitely a piece that can pair with white, it can pair with burgundy, it can pair with grey. So it's it's a great piece that can serve as a neutral piece in your wardrobe and so I love that as well. I absolutely love the length of this bow tie. Well, it's not a bow tie, but you know what I mean. You can leave it undone or you can tie it in a bow. You can wrap it around your neck several times and it would still look chic and just absolutely stunning. <music> to this cardigan was definitely the button detail on the sleeve so that really really attracted me and I also was in the market for a long um, chunky gray or blue cardigan and I thought this fitted the bill but at 49 and I think it was reduced from 69 which is absolutely exorbitantly priced that's ridiculous because I have a similar piece that I find is of a better cut and longer and better than this piece that I paid $29.99 for so it's definitely this is definitely not something I'm I'm very pleased about so I think I may, th may take this one back but this is how I paired it and would wear it if I do keep it, which I highly doubt. So, there. If I choose to keep this piece, I'll be wearing it as a dress just like this. I think it is loose and professional looking. But I absolutely prefer to wear it as a cardigan as it's designed to be worn i think it would pair beautifully with all of my high-waisted jeans in my closet so this is definitely how i think if i do keep it this is how i would pair it most of the times yeah i absolutely love it this way made for me I, I love I love these styles so my first piece is definitely high-waisted as you may have guessed I love high-waisted and it's this floral blue pants here and as I said I love anything 
that I have to tie. I love strings. Anything that cinches the waist in, I, I love it. So, yeah. This is a piece that I'm absolutely going to get lots of wear out of in the summer. As well as now, actually. Because you can definitely wear tights underneath it and pair it nicely as I do in the clippings there. So I have chosen a black satin blouse to be worn with this pants. I think it suits it quite beautifully. It's another of my favorite possible tops that has been in my wardrobe forever. I think it's such a beautiful pairing. Sometimes I like to funk things up a bit, so yes, this may not be a professional bag for many, but I do like to, as I said, I just like to pair unusual stuff that you may not often find this associated with the work environment, and I mean a professional work environment, but I love to just throw these things in the, the mix because Fashion is a creative form of expression and you just express how you feel on a particular day. So yeah, I would definitely throw this in the mix and go to work like this. So this is my second blouse that I chose to pair this pants with and it suits it nicely and this is because it is definitely picking up with the color scheme of the pants and that is one of the reasons why it pairs so beautifully with it so another great option for you to wear with this pants gorgeous <music> definitely in it's something that is always in almost everybody's wardrobe I don't get rid of my check pieces at all I have several of them which you'll probably see in the upcoming months so this is a great addition to it I struggled over this piece because again I didn't think it was worth the price. It was exorbitantly priced. Initially it was $89, then it went down. It was hiked up to $99 and I refused to buy it. I took it back when I bought it initially. Now it was reduced to $49, which I think is still high. So. I don't know yet, I do like it, so I'll think about it, but fabrication is great. It's a really great sturdy piece that would be in your wardrobe for a, quite a long time. So I love it. High-waisted, wide leg, definitely right up my alley, and it's a great work piece. So if you do, if you're on the taller side and you get a chance to purchase it, it's definitely a great piece to invest in. So for this first pairing, I'm pairing it with the same blouse and I added a pop of red. So yeah, if you want to go match belt, matching belt and bag, of course you feel free to do so. For me, I like to pair red with plaid because I think it's complimentary. I think it's really flattering. switched the belt up a bit I added a black belt 
and I'm pairing it with my gray bag and yeah this is one of the most conservative and safest pairings that you would find most people gravitate to and it's gorgeous <music> Necessarily wear it at work but knowing me I would if given the opportunity or if I feel like it because I go by feelings at times but this is definitely a piece that you can wear to a dinner to any any occasions a wedding or just somewhere where the dress code demands chic classy elegant look this is definitely a great piece i love it and you would see why in the clip so this is how i pair it so for this pairing i kept it in the same color scheme and with the same floral details this is a blouse i had in my wardrobe for ages and it matches beautifully with this piece. My only disappointment with this piece is that it doesn't have any pockets. As you can see me searching for somewhere to place my hands, but it's not working. So for my second pairing, I chose a sheer dark blue blouse that is also within the same color scheme. And this is what I would wear if I chose to wear this pants to work. I would pair it exactly like this. miss this piece because I didn't think that it was something that would look great on me then I realized that it is another high-waisted piece and it's also very similar to the blue one I just showed you it's absolutely stunning it's it's gorgeous just like it's blue partner these two pieces are really really great pieces that you would have in your wardrobe for quite a long time and again if you do get the opportunity to buy them they are $29.99 drastically reduced really great pieces fabrication is absolutely great really great fit on body types like mine so if you have my body type definitely go for it it's a great event piece a great walk piece if you choose to do so you can't go wrong for this first pairing of this pants i chose this blouse another love of my life in my wardrobe this is a piece that i got from my mom I remember telling you guys I stole this blouse from my mom. <laughs> yeah, this is that same piece. So I think it goes beautifully with this. It is within the same family of colors. 
and you can't see it too clearly but it also has the same subtle floral details and I I just love it this piece I must add it definitely shows all your flaws so wear the right undergarment and definitely smooth out those lines another high-waisted piece and if you have been following me for quite some time you would know that I have oh my lips are dry anyway you will know that I have similar pieces in my wardrobe it's very similar to this piece right here as well it's the same style and this is a style that I was quite surprised that it suits my body type because I, I the cut could be a bit tricky and what I observe with these with this style is that you have to size up because I am normally a medium and I took the extra large in this one because I find that the crotch was a bit too low and it was giving you, should I say, the camel toe kind of vibes that is not at all flattering. So I would suggest sizing up if you have a similar body type like I do. So th that is why it appears a bit um, too big but I rather it is too big than to be messing with my anatomy so yeah <laughs> so yeah this is a really great piece I love it I love the way it looks it looks so expensive and it's very flattering on this is actually the large the medium this is what it is but the large in this one is a bit too big or a bit too it doesn't fit as flattering but i am quite satisfied with this one what i would suggest you do is to wear um pieces underneath that contours your body that, that reduces any unflattering lines on you so that way they flow smoothly on your body because otherwise they can tend to cling in places that are very unflattering so it's not a good look so i just kept on the same blouse you can of course choose your own black blouse or a blue one as well the blue one would also go nicely or a burgundy one you can pick any of the colors in the color scheme but I love this pairing here and I love the fit of these pants. Again, I chose to pair it with my Ralph Lawrence tote and my Zara shoe. My other piece is this red piece. I love stripes and I love it in any color. So I've wanted this piece for quite some time. This is another piece that if you are going to invest in it, you definitely have to size up. The large in this, it fits okay. Again, it was giving me that camel toe kind of vibe that is not flattering. And I hate to say it. So I sized up to the extra large and I love it. I love the looseness and it still gives your body some shape. So another great piece, another great work piece. You can't go wrong with it. This is how I style it. So again, I am working with the color scheme in this pants. And here I am picking up the nude and the red. 
So I chose my nude blouse that I wore earlier as well as the red belt that you saw with the plaid pants and I think they go so beautifully together. It's such a great pairing, such a great mix of colors. It looks absolutely chic and professional. And I am pairing it with my Vince Camuto's tote and my stiletto shoe that I got from Aldo. A really great pairing that I'm absolutely proud of. wanted a striped gray professional looking pants and this just fit the bill and it's interesting that on the website it doesn't look like it's something that would be a great fit it it's definitely not eye-catching but when I got it I was I was pleasantly and really Surprise how well it fit. It's a really really great high-waisted piece Again, it has it's flared. So it's very flattering on any body type. It makes you look chic elegant and Sophisticated I just love this pants here. It doesn't do it much justice, but oh My god, I fell in love with it as soon as I tried it on and here I'm just pairing it with, again, my Vince Camuto tote and that blouse you saw earlier. Such a great pairing as well. But you can also pair it with white or nude. It pairs beautifully with any nude colors. So here I am just pairing it with another gray jacket in the same color scheme as well as with stripes and I chose to just lose the blouse and pair it with the jacket only and I love it I think it goes so great with it this is a piece that's not going anywhere in my wardrobe unless of course I put on some weight but love this piece guys love it yeah guys that's my haul those are the pieces as i said definitely if you feel like going out there and you feel like sprucing up your wardrobe and you work in a semi-professional environment these are definitely pieces that you can invest in to to not only start the year off but they can definitely serve for years to come in your wardrobe. So I definitely hope you find some inspiration from these tips and I'll see you in the next one. Take care guys, love ya. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, bye-bye.